Hello folks, this is Echo. Welcome to Horde Base Breakdown. In this episode, I take a base, teach you how to build it, show you how it works, and then toss a horde at it just to judge it. In this case, I'm bringing you back to the tower because I originally built this one during the Alpha 20 experimental build. And guess what? They released stable and it broke. So now it's back and better than ever. I've got a tutorial on how to build it, but I'm also gonna show you how to fix it if you've already built it. So this is a basic concept of routing the zombies up a single plank and giving you a good melee position to fight from, as well as having a couple secondary positions to fire from if you've got teammates working with you. If you're new to Seven Days to Die, or even just coming back in Alpha 20, this is a perfect starter base that you can have ready by day seven. Beyond helping you survive that nasty horde, this will also be a great introduction into some of the new parts and pieces available to you in Alpha 20. Let's get into this and show you how to build it. So to get started on the tower, you'll need a space that's about nine by 21 and fairly flat. And then you're gonna to wanna to gather the following materials. You need about 5,000 wood, that you're gonna to use to build into either 500 wood cubes or 500 frames slash cubes. And these, these are placeable and removable. So if you're uncomfortable with building, this is a good way to start off. And then you can always upgrade to the wood cubes with the leftover wood that you'll have from this. Then likewise for cobblestone, you'll need 1500 clay soil and small stone to make yourself 1500 cobblestone, which we'll use to reinforce some of the wood blocks. For the interior to help push you along after this fact, you'll ideally want to forge a campfire and some storage. And then for the build itself, you're going to need one iron hatch, three wooden hatches, and a handful of torches. So to get us started, we're going to pull these wooden cubes down into our inventory, and we're going to break these actually up into about six sets here. So we're going to right click and left click to break these apart. So right click picks it up, left click places it. And that's gonna bring us into six separate um, cube types. And we're gonna redo those. So I'm gonna drop here out of God mode so that we can fall along in the ground. You're gonna go to the one you wanna change. You're gonna hold down R, go to the shape menu. And then let's go up here under the round menu. And in the search bar type in 7M, which is gonna bring up all your seven meter structures. And we're going to select cube 7M round 01. And then after that, we're going to hold down R and go to the next one and pick up 02. And we're going to do this until we have the five shapes um, that represent the sides of our tower. And this is just going to make it easier. So as we're building, these are all just right in the hot bar. Now, before we actually start building the circular section, we're going to actually build out some reinforcement on the inside first. So this green interior bar barrier, we're just going to go to the whole way around here. And then we're going to reinforce this up to cobblestone right at the beginning. Because this is the primary area that the zombies gonna, are going to target. And with one of the AI changes that we've seen, uh, uh, they need a little discouragement from beating on the base of the tower. And I found that this makes a significant difference. And so that even if they do, they're going to have to go up against a second layer of reinforcement. Okay, so once we have this, we're going to go down to our first block here and we're going to start placing. So we're actually going to go five high up here. So the fastest way to do this is to jump in place. So we're gonna place the first one. We're gonna stand right here and look down. And we're gonna jump up and right click and go one, two, three. Oh, higher. Oh, four and five. All right, and then we're gonna rotate to the next one here. And you'll see these are already facing the right direction. So again, one, two, three, four, five. So this first side is pretty straightforward as you're not having to do any block rotations. And then once you finish this one, you are gonna have to do some rotations, but you're gonna go back to the first one you placed and you're gonna rotate just once. So you're gonna left click to rotate and then you'll be faced perfectly. And then one, two, three, 
Ooh. four and five and then we'll just complete this the whole way around with again we're going to left click rotate that once one two three four and five and then just keep going until you've filled this the whole way around Now, when we get to this one, we're actually going to go one short. So we're only going to go four high. And then our last one, two, three, four, five. All right. So now that we have this, we're going to go back to our square cubes and we're just going to fill this all in. Now, also, we're going to go ahead and split this off one more. And while we're here building, we're going to go ahead and add ourselves a ladder to the backside so we can get up to this level. That'll just make things easier if we fall off at any pace. And you can build whatever type of ladder you want on the backside. So we're just going to come right off here. You want to make it too high off the ground so that zombies cannot climb it, but you can jump onto it. So we're just going to put that right up there. Okay, so now we can start working on placing the walls around the edges. And just like before, we can start on the southern side, depending upon how you're set up. But this time we're gonna go four high. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll go to the next one. One, two, three, four. We are gonna have some deviations on this one because we're going to want to leave an entrance for the door in the back. And then we're going to have some cutouts in the front for some windows. All right, so back to here and rotate one in and two. just be careful when you're back here because if you fall, it's going to hurt. All right, in this one, we're going to rotate one again, but we're going to go up enough space to leave room for a door. And then we'll go to our next one. All right, and now we get to this front section. Now this front section is gonna be a little bit different as well. So first we're gonna build the area around the door. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna build this one, which is going to be the other block that's similar to this. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> and then we're gonna actually leave one, two, and then we're gonna go to the fourth space and place one there. Then these two side pieces here, we will fill in, but we're only gonna fill in the top two. So we're gonna rotate and do these. So one, Two, and then do the other one on the far side rotate it once do one two we're going to leave these because we're going to do these a little bit differently <clears throat> so now we're actually done with all of our round pieces so we're going to switch these out we're going to hold down r on this one again menu and this time we're going to type in cat for catwalk and what we're going to look for is this um Cube 5M, Round Catwalk 3, and 4. So we're going to do the 3 one first. And we're going to rotate it so it fits there. And that'll allow us to shoot out there. And then we're going to advanced rotate this one until we flip it upside down. Like that. And we're going to put it right in there. Okay, so that was number 3. Now we're gonna switch that one from three over to cube 5M round catwalk four. And then we're gonna put it on the bottom in these two spots. And again, we're gonna hold down R and hit advanced rotation. And we're gonna place it right up there like that. 
and that's going to give us two sh two firing positions out all right <clears throat> now we can start filling in the tops of this we are going to have get that around we're going to bring that ladder right up to the rooftop there so that we have a way to get to the top and then at this point in time you can start placing all of your other stuff down but let's just do the roof first so we're going to repurpose this one over here and as of right now they haven't changed the health of things so all blocks are the same they might switch it back at some point in time so i'm going to give you two options of how to do this the ideal one is to just use a regular plate um and it's going to be this guy right here and right now like i said they have the same health they switched it in the middle of me doing the last video so hopefully they don't switch it back but i like doing this um actually not that not in that corner we're gonna skip the corners because we're gonna put something a little bit different there to give some character to the room so we're gonna place these everywhere except for the corners and this is just gonna give the illusion of a little bit more height in the room it's a great trick to do unless they end up nerfing the block health again in which case we'll have to use some alternative blocks now in these corners to give again just doing this for character you don't have to do this you could do a whole flat ceiling you could even do cubes um but we're gonna go into this rounded shape here i'm trying to remember where i found this it's under it's this guy right here this 3m tunnel inside corner is great for corners of rooms you take it and you flip it advance rotate it until you're upside down And then it just fits right up in there and just gives the room a little bit of extra character so that finishes off the inside lastly you know what i forgot one item on here that i should have made and that was to make us a quick door so we'll craft up a quick door and we'll put that on the back here so that's our way in and out and then likewise up here at the front we'll have a structure to build but we'll wait until we get that all built out there all right so up here on the roof we're going to take one of these wood hatches that we had from earlier and we're just going to place that down and then we are going to come back through here and we had some crenellations that we added if you look and see how we've got them set up around the top over there on the original version we're going to want to start right at the front and we're going to look in the menus here again we're going to go back into the round menus so we're going to look in 7m and round 7m there we go and this time instead of these are for the full blocks when you want to fill in these are the ones for if you're doing um partial blocks and you were going to make the inside structure hollow so we're going to do similar to what we did before we're going to go cube one quarter 7m round 01 we're going to grab then 02 all the way around <clears throat> four and five and we're not going to need the filler for this that's going to be unnecessary so i like to start on this one we're going to have two sides like this it's going to be this side and the exact opposite side that are going to have that and now normally this one would be the one that goes right next to it or on this side yeah but in this case, we're going to skip that and go over to the next one, which will go here. And then we're going to skip the next one would have been this one. But instead, we're going to skip that and go to this one. And you kind of just keep doing this the whole way around. So, you know, you're not going to have that one. You're going to go to that one. You know, you're not going to have that one. You're going to go back to this one. There you go. Then we skip over this one and we're going to skip this one but you can just kind of piece this out oops one more there we go skip two and then the last one skip back to here and there we have our crenellations at the top so at this point in time we head down we're going to have one trap door that goes here it's gonna flip 
up to give us some protection there. And then we're going to have one trap door. We're going to advance rotate this one. Pull down R. Advanced. And we want this one to flip just like that. So the handle is facing back towards us and it flips down. Now, this is the whole reason why we had this extra iron hatch in here. Because we want to upgrade this. Ah, we forgot one thing. So we are going to need a little bit of iron, which I'll bring in. So you should have, you're not going to need a ton, but you'll just naturally get iron from breaking things down. So you're going to upgrade that until you get to that. And then you can just keep, you should take this one as far as you can, because that one's going to be critical for providing you some protection. So this is the tower portion of this. And now you've got a way in and out. Um, if you wanted to fill this in, which we'll go ahead and do really quick here. The layout that I did before was three across here, two across here. I tossed the bedroll on top of there. You can take the forge, toss that in the back of the room like so. Have it face back out at you. And then a fire pit so you've got a place to cook and not step into the fire. And we can toss a few bits into here and give us some light in our room as well and give us a torch on the inside of the wall. You can place that one wherever you want. And we've got our insides all set out here. Okay, so now on to building our zombie entrance way. And I've had to extend this out one more. I took out the five that was here and added this because I realized as I was building this, I needed a little bit more space. So I also went ahead and got picked out the parts and pieces we're gonna need. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna use these wedge tip full and we're going to take these and we're going to advance rotate this so the intent of these is to give you access to the shooting lanes from up above and additionally if the zombies are pathing back and forth this is going to give them less of that jagged cube edge to run into so ideally these should just give a little bit smoother pathing and some characteristic to your base and then we're going to start building some stairs up so we're just going to make a simple stair structure going up one two just like this all right and then we're going to go back and build from here and this will help us when we when we figure out how they all meet together okay one, two, three, one, two, and one. And then we'll come along here and put in our stairs. All right. And then we're going to go up one higher here. And when we get to this one, we're actually going to use this, which is a wedge tip 60 or a wedge 60. That's what it's called. And we're gonna do this so that it matches. You don't have to do this. You could just do a regular piece. But again, part of the reasons we build these bases is to have them have some interesting character and look to them. So not like that. And this is also gonna make it so the zombies do have a chance to fall off over here. Oh, that was it. That one right there. And then we're gonna do place the other one on the other side again we're going to go up one more and right when this hits the top we're going to put this one here Is that it right there mm, yes okay and then we're going to want to have this all kind of meet together in the center so we're going to come back over here we're going to go up one more here rotate Take this guy around and then here we're gonna make this go all the way across and we're gonna have this come up here that come up there we're gonna place a block here and one here and then we're gonna see how everything comes together in the center right here so what this does is the zombies have now three paths to come up and uh, more importantly, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a walkway that we're gonna start to build across here. And as they fall off this walkway, the big problem with the new update, let's see, we've got two spaces left, okay? 
we get to two spaces left we're going to want to switch to these last two pieces i'll finish that thought in here in a second so this one is going to be a cube one quarter t side centered that's a mouthful and we're going to rotate that advanced rotation again what we're doing is we're thinning it out as the zombies get towards the end of the pathway we're going to give them some opportunity to fall off we don't want a ton like we used to do with the narrow pathways because they seem to really not like falling off as much and it starts to enrage them and then they just start beating on your building so we're going to rotate this one till it's a nice little tip that points out so you can see they come across and it brings them to this end point all right now if they do fall off up there you notice that there are stairs right next to them so that gives them a pathway back up to circle back in to get to you here all right, so this brings us to the entrance on this side that we want to build out. Uh, and we're going to do a couple different things here. We're going to break this apart again into a few pieces. The first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of window trim on the side. So we're going to come down here. Where is the trim? Trim, trim, trim right there. And then we're going to type window. And we're going to get this side piece right here. It's window trim. And we want it to sit flush on the side just like that all right and we're gonna do two there all right so two flat sides there okay so now that we've got the two window trim bits in here we're gonna add some parts along the bottom to stop the zombies from just you know running headlong into the base so we're gonna come back up to here and type in just t just the letter t i don't think you even need to but you're gonna want this pole side centered t and we're gonna put one in facing there, like that. And we're gonna put one in the opposite side like that. And that is going to give us protection both from zombies sliding underneath there. Um, also, you can kind of swing down through there if you need to. The next thing we're gonna do is on top of here, we also wanna place just a couple poles. So we're gonna come in here and shape and grab our pole that's, oh, that's giving us a hard time so pull and we want this one here that's just a regular one and we're going to do a rotate advanced if for some reason they go back and we're going to place this one on the other side and that gives us a lot of defense and then you'll be able to flip that down to defend now that we have this we should be able to place this here like that just for some final character so this is the basic construction of the base in place and now from at this point in time what we really want to do is reinforce some of the key areas so for one obviously our entryway here we want to make sure that all of this is reinforced those two windows right there i didn't mean to hit that last bit but hit these windows along here and i would even hit these i would hit this whole facade right here as well as the piece right above now this brings me to another thing that i that is optional you don't have to do it um, but if you want to put a piece up here to prevent the zombies from stacking up you can put a wedge piece up here uh, the one that i used that you saw before had a little bit of extra character it was this this wedge 60 incline filler and you can put that right up there and then i would also reinforce that also if you want to you can make this the block below that one squared off that also gives you a nice little uh pyramid shape so from here you just want to upgrade all the main walkways that the zombies are going to pass along and then additionally anytime that you can upgrade everything at level two where the zombies are going to be as well as these spots where you know they're going to path by then around the base of the tower just hit the second row the whole way around. And that, folks, is the new and updated tower. So I think all you have left is throwing a couple torches in here. I threw a couple down here, I think, on the bottom here so that you had some sight lines as you came in and then tossing one somewhere over the door or at least to the side of it. You can toss it up there. 
throw a couple up there. And that'll give you illumination during the horde battle. So speaking of the horde battle, let's jump into that. If you've already built this in your world and you're looking to upgrade it, you can stay tuned to the end after the horde battle and I'll give you a quick run through on how to upgrade it to this version of the tower. With that, let's see how it fares up against the horde. So I wanted to give this a fair fight. I did set myself to level 20 and then I cranked the difficulty up to survivalist just to give it a little bit more of a challenge and make sure that this will survive that first seven day horde for you. So you'll see throughout this for the most part, you can manage them easily right at this doorway. Adding these additional stairs does two things for you. One, it gives a faster path to get back to you. And additionally, it gives them something to beat on other than the foundation of the base. So you can see it's a huge difference. I did test this. I spent almost a full day testing this to get them to stop beating on the foundation of the base. And this seemed to be the best that I've seen yet. So you'll see that some of them do turn around and hit the foundation but the majority of them start coming back up and route and we'll see at the end how much damage they've actually done to the bottom. So adding these allows you to hit the folks who are sitting there on the pillars. And if you had a couple teammates, you could easily have someone just acting as range duty on the sides, shooting through those windows and taking care of them as they hit the pillars. I think tapering the end of the walkway was enough of a shift to thin out some of the zombies so that you aren't overwhelmed here and gives you time to be able to repair this top entryway here but not enough time for them to completely demolish the bottom when i was going through the testing i was looking at when the zombies were considering the pathway unreachable and i think the old single pole approach allowed them to think that they couldn't get to you anymore because the zombies ahead of them were blocking the path. So that's why I increased the size of that and it seems to help a lot. Definitely you're getting faster throughput up here at the top side. And here we've got a little bit of time to repair it in between. And then start knocking them back off. So if this is holding up, it's survivalist with 32 zombies. You should have no problem with this on lower difficulties and or standard settings for that matter. At the end of this, I don't think that they've managed to break a single block on the entryway here. They do take a few blocks out around the base, which we'll take a look at afterwards. But for the most part, version 2.0 of the tower seems to be holding up pretty darn well anybody else oh hello my friends what is that one or two more yeah she got bored hitting the wall and boom there we go 150 and the horde has been defeated and the tower remains standing so let's talk quick ratings from a fun factor i'm gonna go three out of ten on this one similarly to before there's not a lot of variation in your gameplay next let's jump over into survivability i'm gonna hit this one with a nine out of ten especially for a day seven horde base in regards to maintenance i'm gonna drop this to seven out of ten as this one did take a little bit more damage we lost a few blocks here and there definitely would want to upgrade that second level all the way around after this we have multiplayer support and this one definitely you could fit two or three people in there you could have two hanging out in the windows and one in the main thoroughfare so yep six out of ten seems about right and then lastly expandability six out of ten for this one to increase longevity on this one you're gonna have to add some traps and you're gonna have to go up to give yourself some more space or you're gonna have to add additional towers on the side similar to how i did it in frost haven you can see the link above as an example so as promised before i'm gonna give a quick tutorial on how to upgrade the former tower over to this version if you don't need that one then take care and i'll see you on the next one folks so first we're gonna have to remove a few items the existing walkway needs to go as well as the existing entryway here next we're going to go into the inside and just reinforce this 
two levels up all the way around. You should be able to easily drop down through your existing floor and just put a ladder back up if need be. Once you finish that, you can come outside and go to your existing step up and actually put stairs right over top of them. From here, we're gonna start to build the two side stairs coming in from the back. I just remembered you're also gonna take out these bottom three blocks and you're gonna put in full wedge tips along the edge there, as well as three up for along the two stair backings here. And then three right under here. And that gives that sight line that we referenced earlier. So now we're gonna just quickly fill these out. One, two, three, one, two, one, the whole way across, and then slap stairs down on top of those. Now we're gonna take a wedge 60 and put it here and another wedge 60 here, just so that the angles match up with that full wedge tip below. Then we're gonna connect everything up and add some stairs to bring the zombies up from every direction to the same point at the beginning of the walkway. From here, we just extend the walkway out. One, two, three, four, five, should be about right yours may vary slightly we're going to take this one off and just make sure we've got a square cube in there line up then we're going to put this t block in here same as the one that we used earlier and rotate it up and this is just going to create our wedge entrance and then that quarter block right there now we just have to remake the entrance way we're going to use it doing this t block right here and then put another one flipped around reverse on the other side. And then we're gonna put poles on the top so that we have that four stack of reinforcement. Also up at the top here, we're gonna to need to add a hatch so that we can flip it down during horde night, make sure that no one comes in and gives us a way to go out this way as well if we want to. So we'll place that up there and then we just wanna reinforce it real quick. Wooden hatch is not gonna do you there. All right, and from here, all we need to do is toss down some additional poles for reinforcement, as I mentioned. So one there, and then one on the outside. Lastly, we're just gonna put this archway trim up at the top, just to make it look good. So that is the upgraded version of the Tower 2.0. I hope you have enjoyed, and otherwise, I will see you on the next one, folks. Echoes out.